Welcome to Wildlife Hub. Corals are marine invertebrates within the class Anthozoa. Of the phylum Cenidaria, they typically form compact colonies of many identical individual polyps. Coral species include the important reef builders that inhabit tropical oceans and secrete calcium carbonate to form a hard skeleton. classification of corals has been discussed for millennia, owing to having similarities to both plants and animals. Aristotle's pupil Theophrastus described the red coral, Corian, in his book on stones implying it was a mineral, but he described it as a deep-sea plant in his inquiries on plants, where he also mentions large stony plants that reveal bright flowers when underwater in the Gulf of Heroes. For most of their life, corals are sessile animals of colonies of genetically identical polyps. Each polyp varies from millimeters to centimeters in diameter, and colonies can be formed from many millions of individual polyps, stony coral, also known as hard coral. Polyps produce a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate to strengthen and protect the organism. Polyps feed on a variety of small organisms, from microscopic zooplankton to small fish. The polyps' tentacles immobilize or kill prey using stinging cells called nematocysts. Corals are both gonochoristic, unisexual, and hermaphroditic, each of which can reproduce sexually. And asexually, reproduction also allows coral to settle in new areas. Reproduction is coordinated by chemical communication. Corals predominantly reproduce sexually. About 25% of hermatypic corals form single-sex colonies, while the rest are hermaphroditic. It is estimated more than 67% of coral are simultaneous hermaphrodites. At certain times in the geological past, corals were very abundant. Like modern corals, their ancestors built reefs, some of which ended as great structures in sedimentary rocks. Fossils of fellow reef dwellers, algae, sponges, and the remains of many echinoids, brachiopods, bivalves, gastropods, and trilobites appear along with coral fossils. This makes some corals useful index fossils. Local economies near major coral reefs benefit from an abundance of fish and other marine creatures as a food source. Reefs also provide recreational scuba diving and snorkeling tourism. These activities can damage coral, but international projects such as green fens that encourage dive and snorkel centers to follow a code of conduct have been proven to mitigate these risks. In medicine, chemical compounds from corals can potentially be used to treat cancer, AIDS, pain, and for other therapeutic uses, coral skeletons, e.g. Isididae, are also used for bone grafting in humans. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative and amazing videos.